back in. Do the job he's doing. Who gave him? It's his Stan and Josh. It's crazy. Football fans will jump on their owners. Right? When things are not going well. But when things are going well, nobody talks about the owners anymore. That's why all these Pronke out nonsense, uh, uh, FSG out nonsense, Glazer out nonsense, it is so distasteful. I got content creators saying, hey, don't, don't attend games, don't do this. So let's discuss the Chrome case. Before we go further, please like the video, subscribe. I know you subscribe, very important for the growth of the channel and the algorithm. And do not forget, uh, like I said, to stick a like and make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the content. And what's the last thing? Um, uh, turn notification bills, very, very important. So let's go to Chrome case. I find it very, 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 very funny that the fans, not only, this is not only peculiar to Arsenal fans alone, are very quick to criticize, to cast aspersions on the Crown case. Oh, the Crown case are not spending much money. They are not investing. They are not taking the club forward. I get it when those uh, sentiments are being shared sometimes, even though it is not totally true because until the Crown case owned the club 100%, I understand why they would not want to put all their finances to the club. They don't own it 100%. So, is the sensible and the logical thing to do. I get it. Football is an emotional game. Uh, but emotionality don't pay the transfer fees. Emotionality don't pay these huge uh, wages these players request these days. So, F your emotions. Be logical. You have to be logical. Like, nobody takes a girl on a, an expensive date if you're not exclusive. I get it. Some idiots do that. But it's not, it's not the right thing to do. Like... If you're not exclusive, why are you taking her to a, yeah, all the high-end restaurants, wine and dining, when she's putting on the friend zone? I think that's idiotic. That's senseless. Some of you argue, oh, yeah. No, if you want to do it, that's on you. Sensible people do not just throw their money and their time away. So I get why the Cronkers will not want to invest or give everything to us. Now, even though you can argue they had majority shares, but they didn't own the club 100%. But since they own the club 100%, they've been spending. Now, are they spending at the rates of Manchester City or Chelsea? No. But they are actually investing into the club significantly. But the fact that the, the fans are not giving their flowers is, is ridiculous. It's hypocritical. But when things are not going well, you are quick to raise your banners. You are quick to fly those kites of Conte. Sorry, Kronke out, Sun out. The Cronkies need to get out of our club. But now that they are, they've invested significantly, they have to pay out, pay off Ozil, Kolasinac, Socrates. They took huge losses. And we have some people trying to tweet the narrative that, oh, no, they took some loans. Is it in your name? They took the, the loan. Some are arguing that semantics of they took the, the loans in the name of the club. So technically, it's not theirs. Who owns the club? Like, I don't get it. Common sense. It's not common anymore. You now allow journalists who have their own agenda or mm -hmm. people with huge followings on, on social media, YouTube, Instagram, to actually think for you. I'm not saying sometimes your opinions might not be bright, but sometimes you have to scrutinize those opinions. How can you have the audacity to say, oh, the club took some loan to invest in... Uh, Cronkies, the Cronkies took some loan to invest in the club, who owns the club? If those loans go bad, who, who under whose name is going to go to? Like this is playing with semantics. Now let's put that aside. The fact that since Arsenal has been on top of the, on top of the league, they are doing relatively well. There is no guarantee we we'll win the league, but it's looking like we might win the league. None of the fans, none of the major houses the legacy media, the traditional media, the mainstream, are actually giving the crown case their flowers. Everybody's keeping quiet. I'm not saying she don't shout out Ateta. I'm shouting out Ateta. But who has made it possible for Ateta to gather these players? Who is paying the wages of these players? Who is paying the transfer fees? Who is paying the, the playing staffs and the non-playing staff? Is it Ateta? Is it Edu? Or Stan and Josh? This, these are the questions we should ask ourselves. But I find it crazy. None of the Arsenal fans 
from the known ones on troops to others are actually giving the crown case their flowers. Everybody is everybody is silent. Only Ateta's name is being hoisted. I'm not saying Ateta has not done a good job, but who gave him the enabling environment, the financial backing to do the job he's doing? Who gave him? It's his Stan and Josh. It's crazy. Football fans will jump on their owners. Right? When things are not going well. But when things are going well, nobody talks about the owners anymore. That's why all these crunky out nonsense, uh, at uh, FSG out nonsense, Glazer out nonsense. It is so distasteful. I got content creators saying, hey, don't, don't attend games, don't do this. Shut your lying ass mouth. Most of you are hypocrites. Most of you are not real fans. You just you, you just pander to what is a popular narrative. And I, I don't I, I don't am I supposed to blame the content creators or blame the subscribers sometimes? Most uh, let's say the truth, most of the subscribers are dumber than dumb knobs. Most of you have a bucket of ice in your in your brains. You can't think for yourself. You should sometimes question these opinions, analyze them with your logical thinking about these opinions that are being pushed out by the mainstream or these large content creators. You can analyze it. You have a fucking brain. Use it. You have a phone. You use your phone. I can, you can do a, a quick research. You can. Your phone should not be smarter than you. Although we live in a world these days that the people's phones are smarter than them. See, I'm going to give the crown case the flowers. They've made this bragging right possible for Arsenal fans, but for by them investing. You like I said, you might not like the volume of investment, but they've done and given Ateta significant investment to have the squad is having. And we are, we are, I'm very sure this come this next summer they will actually raise the bar and give Ateta what he needs to maintain the level and actually try and win more trophies and get to the, get Arsenal back to where it belongs. But nobody wants to give him the flowers. We're going to just pretend this should just happen naturally. Let me know your thoughts. Does the Crown case deserve some flowers or not? Let me, I want to know. Because am I might the only person that thinks the Crown case deserve some praise and flowers? Let me know in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.